see students oftenly in thermodynamics we have studied your work is equals to p dv now in this lecture we will clearly understand how this work is equals to p dv and what kind of work it is fine now see students let there be some piston cylinder arrangement this be our cylinder and this be our piston and let this be the initial position and at initial position let the pressure within the cylinder be p1 and let the volume of the cylinder be v1 now suppose the gas inside this cylinder the gas inside cylinder undergoes an expansion process the gas inside cylinder undergoes an expansion process now see students this is very important expansion process now what happens in expansion see let after expansion the final position the final position of the piston be somewhere here so this is our final position let initial position is represented by state 1 and the final position be represented by state 2 and at this point your pressure here be p2 and the volume be v2 fine so earlier it was p1 comma v1 and there is an expansion and during expansion the pressure will decrease the pressure will decrease and the volume will increase and let the final condition be p2 comma v2 is it okay now see students let there be some intermediate state let at some intermediate point the position of piston be somewhere here this is our piston now what we consider here is that in a small time frame dt in a small time frame dt this piston has covered a distance ds that means in a small time frame dt the distance traveled by piston b your ds this distance and after time dt the position of piston is somewhere here is it okay now when it is expanding when the gases are expanding what we can say that there might be some pressure or force there might be some force acting on the piston and this force is nothing but your gas 
force and this is developed due to expansion is it okay fine and the pressure exerted the pressure exerted at this point on the piston surface be p p is nothing but your pressure on the piston is it okay now see students how can i write small change in work dw see expansion always yields us work and for a small time frame dt the work obtained with us will be equal to your f into distance covered ds the force acting on the piston by gases into the distance covered ds is it okay and this force can simply be written as product of pressure this pressure into the area of piston on which this pressure is acting multiplied by ds so this is nothing but p into dv see area area see area is something like this here suppose this is our piston in three dimensions the piston will be suppose something like this so this area this is nothing but your area a and this area a into the distance ds becomes your change in volume dv so our work dw dw can be simply written as your pdv this is how we obtain our pdv work this is the small amount of work obtained during a small time frame dt in which the piston has covered a small distance ds is it okay and see students this work this work is applicable first of all only for a closed system now what do we mean by closed system see here this is a closed system why it is a closed system because it is not interacting it is not interacting with its surrounding by means of mass transfer neither the mass is coming inside the system neither the mass is going outside the system so such a system is known as your closed system moreover moreover this formula is applicable only for a quasi static process now see students what do we mean by quasi static process quasi static process is the process which takes place in a very slow manner and if the process takes place in a very slow manner then only we can plot its intermediate points had the expansion would have been very fast we couldn't have plot these intermediate points is it okay so this formula is applicable only when a closed system is undergoing a quasi static process or we can say the quasi static process as reversible process is it okay now see students we know that this dw is nothing but equal to your p dv now
suppose this is our pressure axis and this is our volume axis initially initially the volume is v1 and the pressure was p1 and if i need to plot the state 1 of the system it will be something like this this becomes our state 1 of the system fine similarly the final state the volume is v2 and the pressure is p2 so making a horizontal line from p2 and making a vertical line from v2 and the intersection point is nothing but your state 2 and our system is undergoing an expansion process from our state 1 to state 2 fine now see students let at some intermediate point let at some intermediate point the pressure be p and for a small time frame dt for a small time frame dt your change in volume your change in volume let this change in volume be dv fine so we see here is that this area this area of this small element is nothing but equal to p dv and this p dv is nothing but small work obtained small work obtained in time frame dt is it okay fine now see students what if i need to find w total now what do we mean by w total that means work obtained work obtained during process 1 to 2 that means when the system is going from state 1 to state 2 so this w total can also be represented by w 1 to 2 as the system is going from state 1 to state 2 and that will be nothing but integration of this dw from our state 1 to state 2 is it okay and see there is one small element and between your state 1 and state 2 there will be infinite such small elements and adding the area of all these elements is nothing but integration so this quantity this quantity is nothing but equal to area under p v curve area under p v curve when projected on volume axis see this is our state 1 state 2 this curve iska humne projection liya kis axis pe volume axis pe and the total area is this one and this area is nothing but your integration of dw from state 1 to state 2 and this is also known as your total work as we are going from state 1 to state 2 is it okay fine now see students here the work that we are obtaining when we are going from state 1 to state 2 is nothing but the area under this curve is it okay now consider another case suppose this is our pressure pressure axis this is our volume axis this is our state 1 and this is our state 2 
and we can restate 1 by 1 process 1 path 1 a 2 and we can reach state 2 with the help of another path 1 b 2. So, there are 2 paths 1 a 2 and 1 b 2 is it ok. Now, as we are following the path from 1 as we are following the path 1 a 2 the work the work involved in, in this process will be this. So, this is nothing but w 1 a 2. However, if we are following the path 1 b 2, 1 b 2, the area under this curve will be something like this and this is nothing but w 1 b 2 and here what we see is that w 1 a 2 is not equal to w 1 b 2. Though in both the paths the initial state and the final state is same. That means what we can conclude? What we can conclude is that work is a path function and it does not depends upon the initial state and final state, but it depends upon the path followed. Is it ok? Or we can say that work is not a point function. Is it ok? And all the path functions, all the path functions are your in exact differentials. And to represent in exact differential or this path function, what I do? See, this is a small change in work dw. Since this work is a path function, I cross this d. So, this shows us that work is a path function or it is a inexact differential fine now see students again there is some pressure axis and volume axis let this be your initial state 1, let this be your initial state 2. I am moving from my initial state to final state through path A and another path is your path B, fine. And when I talk about 1 A 2, the path 1 A 2, change in volume, the change in volume will be v2 minus v1, v2 minus v1 and if I follow the path 1, b2, again the change in volume is your v2 minus v1. Similarly, the change in pressure is p2 minus p1 and by changing the path, again the change in pressure is p2 minus p1. That means what I can say is that volume and pressure are point functions or we can call it as exact differential. Now, what do we mean by exact differential here? Suppose a small change in volume be dv and I need to find the total change in volume between point 1 and point 2 that will be simply v2 minus v1. However, an inexact differential in the form of work I need to integrate between 1 and 2 this cannot be written as 
W2 minus W1 because work is not dependent upon the point, it is dependent upon the path followed. Is it okay? Fine. Now see students, the formula is dW is equals to P dV. We know that this dW, this dW is your in exact differential. However, this term dV is nothing but a exact differential fine now this can also be written as your dw into 1 by p is equals to dv and here this term this term is known as your integration factor so what we see is that if I need to convert, if I need to convert an inexact differential into exact differential, I must multiply this inexact differential with some suitable integration factor. Is it okay? Now come to work in open system. See students, the work in open system is nothing but minus integration of V D P. However, the work in closed system is nothing but integral of p dv is it okay now this is our pressure axis this is our volume axis similarly this is our volume axis this is our pressure axis fine now an open system is undergoing a process from 1 to 2. This is for an open system. Is it okay? Now see, let at any intermediate point the volume be V and for a small time frame the change in pressure is your dP. Then see, Students, this area, this area is nothing but V D P and the negative of V D P is nothing but your D W. Is it okay? Fine. Similarly, your W 1 to 2 will become equal to this area this becomes the total work. So, W 1 to 2 is nothing but area of P V curve projected on volume projected on pressure axis. Is it okay? Now come to a closed system. As I have already discussed, let this be a process 1 to 2, fine. And let this be some intermediate pressure P1. And for a small time frame, and for a small time frame, the change in volume is dV. So, this becomes, this becomes your P D V or equal to small work obtained D W. However, W 1 to 2, total work between 1 and 2 is nothing but 
this area and this is nothing but area under PV curve projected on projected on volume axis is it okay fine पांच दस मिनट और चलेगी वीडियो पांच दस मिनट लायक और है इसमें स्पेस देख लो स्पेस कम था इसमें तो हीट सी स्टूडेंट्स सपोज दिस इज ए बॉडी ऑफ मास एम एंड इफ आई गिव हीट क्यू टू इट and by giving heat q to it the change in temperature be delta t so this heat q can be simply written as m c delta t where this c is nothing but your specific heat and it is a property of material it is a property of material is it okay now see students for an compressible fluid now compressible fluid is your gas whereas the incompressible fluids are your liquids for compressible fluids each fluid has got two specific heats the specific heat at constant pressure and the specific heat at constant volume this is your specific heat at constant pressure and this is your specific heat at constant volume now let us understand the difference between cp and cv fine See student, let this be some piston cylinder arrangement. And what I do is that here I put some stoppers. Now what I do is that I give heat Q to this the gas in the cylinder. Fine, the gas enclosed in this region. and here the this region becomes your control volume this becomes your control volume now what happens when i give heat to the system or when i give heat to the gas inside the system the temperature of the gas will increase and if this temperature increases gas will try to expand however i have put stoppers so stoppers will prevent the expansion is it okay so we can see is that it, the volume of gas remains constant so such a process can also be termed as your constant volume heat addition this process is your constant volume heat addition process is it okay now see students 
what is happening in this process as we are giving heat the gases will try to expand but these troppers prevent their expansion due to which the pressure exerted the pressure exerted on piston surface increases is it okay and since the process is a constant volume heat addition process your q will be written as your m into specific heat at constant volume into the temperature difference delta t is it okay now come to a constant pressure process suppose again there is some piston cylinder arrangement this is our piston now what i do i provide some heat to the gas within the cylinder so what happens when i provide heat the gas inside cylinder will expand is it okay and during its expansion the gas molecules the gas molecules are exerting some pressure on the piston surface due to which the piston is moving in upward direction is it okay so from one side we are adding the heat and the gases are expanding or we can say that we are increasing the pressure on the piston however since the piston is allowed to move or the piston is allowed to move upwards or the gases are allowed to expand what we can say is that during expansion there is some reduction in pressure overall we can say that constant pressure conditions are obtained so such a process can be termed as constant pressure heat addition and here the value of q is nothing but m into specific heat at constant pressure into the temperature difference delta t fine now see students your value of cp is 1.005 kilo joule per kg kelvin and the value of cv is 0.718 kilo joule per kg kelvin why is this difference see students during a constant pressure process what we are seeing is that the piston is moving in upward direction or the gases are expanding and during expansion process the expansion leads to cooling effect the expansion leads to cooling effect and if there is cooling effect then large amount of heat will be required to have a certain increase in temperature delta t so this can be justified by having a higher value of cp as compared to cv so here what we see is that cp is greater than cv and the reason being that expansion leads to cooling effect due to which larger amount of heat is required to have a certain change in temperature that i delta t 
इज इट ओके